Look at these two. Don't they look great? <laughs> For those who don't know me, my name is James, and I have the honor of being the best man, but I also have the honor to officiate this wedding of one of my closest friends. So I might cry because this is a little emotional for me as well. Now before we start, we should know why we're coming here. We're here to celebrate the coming together of two different people, two different families, two different communities to form a holy covenant of love, sacrificial love. And yes, I said covenant. Now you might be asking yourself, what is, what is that? What does that mean? Well, it's what sets marriage apart from any other relationship. This is different than a contract that you just sign. This is you saying, I will hold up my agreement to love you no matter what, even when you're being not the best person. Because anyone who's been married or in a relationship knows that sometimes their partner can be a little crazy. <laughs> that sometimes it can be a little hard to love. But through all of that, what you two are saying today is that I don't care how you're acting two in the morning when I just got off work and you've just been nagging all day, I'm still going to love you. That is love. Now I have a controversial take on this whole love thing. Love is more than a feeling. It's our feelings on display in a practical and tangible way. Whether it's love between lovers, friends, parents, kids, love is more than how I feel about someone. It's what I do for them because of my feelings for them. Now, I don't know this crowd. Maybe you guys aren't the religious type, but I'm going to quote the Bible a little bit here. In the Bible, in the Old Testament, yeah. there is this book called Ruth. And Ruth, her husband and children died. They might be saying, James, this is a very romantic, but let me carry on. <laughs> Ruth could have easily left her mother-in-law. She could have left her alone and said, hey, fend for yourself. But what she did was she gave sacrificial love. She said, even though I could go to back to my own homeland and find safety and securities, I'm going to stick to you through thick and thin. Your family will be my family. Your God will be my God. Amen. That is tangible love. Now, maybe you're not convinced. You're like, James, I don't know about that. I really like being all in my feelings. I like listening to Drake all the time. Look, let me, let me give you a little bit more of my argument here. Paul writes to the Corinthians what the definition of love is. And this is what he says. And many of you know this. Love is patient and kind. Does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist in its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Now, maybe the greatest, greatest sacrifice we see when it comes to love is this man you may know as Jesus, who said, if you believe in me, I will never let you go and I will love you forever. And that is what marriage represents from the foundations of the earth Adam and Eve came together and said, you will always be one flesh. You will never leave. You cannot be ripped apart. We are one. The rings here, you might be asking yourself, what is the symbol for this ring? But you're thinking, wow, this probably goes back thousands of years. Well, it actually doesn't. It only goes back 100 years. But even so, this short tradition means a lot. Because when you put this on, you know what you're saying to the people out there? You're saying to all those skeezers, bimbos, even the hoes, that <laughs> we are not for you. These rings say, I'm taken, that's my man, that's my woman, don't come this way, don't jump in the DMs, don't text me, 
Don't ever text yeah. me. Don't even look. Don't look over there and don't look over here. This is my person. Amen. Thank you, Jay. All right, Nathan, you. you ready? Yes. All right, sir. Evaporate. All right, Nathan. Grab her hand. Nathan, do you take Lucretia to be your wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and cherish always? If you do, say, I do. I do. <laughs> you know how much this is? <laughs> okay. Are you ready? You got it? All right. Take Nathan's hand. Do you take Nathan to be your husband, to have and to hold from this day forward? to cherish for worse, for better, for richer, for poor, in sickness and health. If you do, say, I do. I do. And you, the family, friend, everyone here, do you agree that you will do everything you can to make sure that this, what, this marriage works, that you will support them and love them and be there for them in the best of times and the worst of times? If you do, say, I will. I will. Now, this is where you two commit to each other for the rest of your lives. Mm. Oh, don't get too freaky right here now. <laughs> so with that being said, Nathan, will you kiss your bride? I mean, kiss her too. Do it. <laughs> now, for the crowd out there, I need you guys to stand up. I need you guys to clap. I need you to yell. I need you to scream because we have the hottest new couple in Vegas here. Allow me to introduce Mr. 